state of emergency declared for parts of South Florida due to severe weather conditions. This zone causes moist air masses to converge and discharge, resulting in ongoing rainfall. Impact on population and infrastructure. The heavy rainfall has already had far-reaching effects on the daily lives of people in Miami and the surrounding area. Several roads are impassable, and there are numerous reports of flooded houses and damaged vehicles. Public transportation is also severely affected, posing significant challenges for commuters and travelers. Emergency services are working around the clock to evacuate people from vulnerable areas and assess damages. Firefighters and police are on high alert to be able to quickly respond to emergency calls. In addition, several emergency shelters have been set up to provide a safe accommodation for those who had to leave their homes. Reactions from authorities. The mayor of Miami-Dade, Carlos A. Jimenez, spoke at a press conference about the seriousness of the situation. Our priority is to ensure the safety of our citizens. We are working closely with state and federal agencies to provide the necessary resources. Governor Ron DeSantis has also taken steps to maximize support from the state, including additional financial resources and personnel reinforcements from the National Guard. We must ensure that we utilize all available resources to address this crisis, said DeSantis. Long-term consequences and reconstruction. The long-term consequences of the floods could be significant. Already, the costs of rebuilding and repairs are estimated to be in the millions of dollars. Insurance companies are preparing to handle a flood of claims, and many residents are wondering what the future holds. City planners and environmental researchers emphasize the need for better preparedness for such events. The infrastructure must be designed to withstand such extreme weather conditions, says Professor John Wallace, an expert in urban resilience at the University of Florida. We need to invest in more sustainable solutions to minimize the consequences of such natural disasters. The role of the community. Despite the challenges, the community in Miami shows remarkable solidarity. Volunteer organizations are collecting donations and offering assistance while neighbors are supporting each other. Many residents are using social media to share information and coordinate help. Eric Lopez, a resident of Miami, describes the cooperation. In times like these, we must stand together. Our community is strong and we will get through this crisis together. While the weather is expected to remain unstable in the coming days, Residents of Miami and South Florida hope that the measures taken will help stabilize the situation and prevent further damage. Observing weather forecasts and maintaining close contact with authorities will be crucial in order to quickly respond to possible new developments. Residents can find more information and current updates on weather conditions on the official government websites and local weather services. Author Anita Fock, Friday, June 14th, 24. Thank <laughs> you.